All right, we need to get Sarah on. She's in a tough spot here, too, because she's got a friend that wants her to be her muscle. Go and get <laughs> money from my ex. And Sarah is a little bit confused by this whole thing. Hey, Sarah, good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Hey. Okay, so I, do I have that right? You have a friend that wants you to get money from her ex. Do I have that right? Yes. Yeah, you do. All right. Go ahead. Explain to us. <laughs> yeah. So, um, first of all, I just want to say I'm a really big fan of the show. Uh, I listen to you guys every morning when I get ready. Thank you. And congrats on another epic trip to Disney for Birds Big Adventure. Thank you. I love You're following sweet. along on social media. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. I appreciate it. And I, now you have more credibility, <laughs> and we are open to giving you better advice. <laughs> 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 okay. So, here is my current life dilemma that I definitely need some advice on. So my best friend, whom I've known since middle school, recently went through, like, a really tough breakup. Um, it's been a roller coaster of emotions for her, and, like, understandably so. This guy, he's a piece. Um, so now that they've split, she essentially wants nothing to do with them, right? Zero contact. Um, however, she lent him $150 during their relationship, and she's asked me to reach out and ask for the money back on her behalf because she never wants to speak to him again. So now, you know, I love my best friend and I want to support her, obviously, through this tough time. But um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure it's fair for her to ask me to do this. I mean, like, should I really be getting involved? And plus, like, I'm not exactly thrilled about having to communicate with her ex either. He's not my favorite. So I am torn between helping my bestie and feeling uncomfortable with the whole situation. What would you guys do if you were in my shoes? Any advice or insight would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> okay, where do we want to go with this one right here? I, quite honestly, I was catching about every half uh, word there because the connection is not great. All right, so do you or do you not uh, fulfill your best friend's request of reaching out to her ex and getting the $150 back that she loaned him while they were together because she doesn't want to have any contact with right. him. Mm -hmm. Would you do this for your best friend? This is my Would you shake down his ex? If it's my best friend, top tier friend, now I wouldn't want to do it because mm -hmm. like, I feel like I'm just throwing myself, interjecting myself in the middle of this drama. But honestly, the way I would see this is going to play out really easily. I'm going to ask for you. He's going to say no. Yep. And then that's all you can do. You you've you've helped your best friend. You you've made it an attempt at it. And then you let it go. Yeah. And your best friend can't be mad at you when he tells you no cuz I feel like he's going to tell you no. Yeah, Sarah. I mean, the goal here isn't like the goal, the mission isn't to get that $150 at all costs by any means. The goal mm -hmm. is to simply make the ask. That's it. And it's okay. I don't think there's any harm in asking mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I don't think there's any harm in him saying no. So, um if, if this was my best friend, then mm -hmm. yes, I'm not. I'm trying to figure out the best way to go about the ask. Um, I I would do it. I guess I would just do it via text. I definitely wouldn't call. I would no. text. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But yeah. hey, you want to get this in writing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I would text, and um, I would even send my Venmo. That way, she doesn't have to receive anything. Be like, hey, oh, okay, yeah. I would send my Venmo to get the money, and then I would transfer it over to her. Because if she wants zero contact, let's let's go mm -hmm. let's go full zero contact. So I would make the yeah. ask. Um, however, one caveat: if he is completely like psychotic not level-headed, there could be mm -hmm. any retaliation towards you for even simply making the ask. If he even has ever shown you an inkling of being like a somewhat dangerous-minded person, I'm not doing that. And I, then that's when I don't think it's fair for you, your friend to put you in that position. Mm -hmm. But if he never showed those signs in the relationship and he's just a POS because he's an F-boy, then I would make the <laughs> ask. <laughs> Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. I think so. You agree with this? I do. I do. I mean... If, if obviously, if he has a, a way to contact you, right, because maybe you can text him and then if he says no, you block him and then yep. that's it. It's over. So if, if you if you can ask in that way, and I would ask for 200 because if he gives it to you, now nah, I, I deserve $50. Finder's fee. Yes, absolutely. So ask for 200 just in case he says yes and pay yourself, okay? Interest, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Since you're acting like the agent, agents get 10%. Absolutely. Oh, okay, so go for it. Really good point. Hey, Sarah, we're just talking about $150 here, right? 
Yeah. That's a lot depending your age and it what is. circumstances you're in. And you know, So here's what I would like to do. I would like to give your friend $150 so she doesn't have to be connected to this guy whatsoever. It doesn't put you in a weird situation. It's only 150 bucks. Let me help Are out and just give you $150. Yeah, you don't got to deal oh with my, it at all. Oh, my God. Are you? Oh, my God. Yeah, it's really, really nice of you. That is, that's awesome. See, this is what enthusiasm will do in complimenting us on Burst Big Adventure. <laughs> it will get you. Yeah, man. I mean, if this is a situation where this dude could turn on her, or whatever, and it could get really ugly for just 150 bucks, let me help out and don't deal with it at all. How's that? Wow, I don't even know what to say. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I got gotcha, you, and I appreciate your loyalty. Thank you. Problem solved. There you go. D- does she tell her friend she reached out and got it, or does she say, "Hey, um, oh, I, t- I talked about you on a morning radio oh, show, yeah, and they gave me a hundred and fifty bucks." Oh, so Sarah, you that's go. a really, really good point. I want you to tell your friend, oh, "I did everything I could. I reached out nine times, so you get credit yep. for trying to be a great friend, right?" Don't tell her I came here. <laughs> take, all right. Okay. She Set. doesn't get up early anyway. So. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you take all the credit, okay? All right. Hold on one second. We'll get in for, and we'll get that to you today. Oh, you know. We should get broken up with more often because you're very sensitive today. Oh, yeah, 150 bucks is all right. <laughs> all right, now if we were talking about a thousand fifty, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> the Bird Show.